Hi, in this video, let us learn slice method in JavaScript. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. So what slice method does, it extracts an, a portion of the array into a new array and that extracted array is the shallow copy of the new array. What does it mean? Uh, let us say uh, we have an array called city and then we want to extract an array for all the capital cities and let's call that capital and here city dot slice can be used. Now this slice method takes two parameters, a start index and the end index. Keep in mind both a start index and the end index are optional. For example, if you don't pass those parameters, what JavaScript does, it returns you exactly the same array. So right now the capital array and city array are exactly the same. Uh, Get rid of this city dot city dot slice and see this small. All right, so here you are getting exactly the same array. All right, uh, now you can pass parameter in this the start index. So I'll say that hey, let's say that the start index is two. The start index is in this case one. We want to start from Delhi, and then the end index, which should be. 0, 1, 2, 3, it means we got to give 4. What a slice method does that it does not include the end index. So if you want to extract an item up to the index 3, you need to pass the end index 4. And here you get the output Delhi, Tokyo and London. Again, uh, if you don't pass end index, which is an optional, what JavaScript does, it will return you uh, all the items up to the length of the array starting index one, which you see here, Delhi, Tokyo, London, and Mumbai. Here you can pass uh, even a negative uh, uh, parameter for the start index. If you pass negative parameter, JavaScript returns you all the items starting uh, minus two offset from the end of the array, which would be in this case, London. All right. So here you can uh, experiment different types of parameters to the start index and uh, end index. Uh, just keep in mind that a negative index can be used indicating an offset from the end of the sequence. Slice minus two, for example, extracts the last two elements in the sequence. If begin is undefined, slice begins from index zero. If begin is greater than the index range of the sequence, an empty array is written. So these are the uh, characteristics of the start index. Again, uh, I say that he start from the index 1 and let's say I pass here 67. Of course, city array does not have uh, 68 items. In that case, what JavaScript does, it returns you all the items you know, through the length of the array. All right. So this is about a start index and an index. Both are optional. All right, you can pass undefined, you can pass negative value, and you can experiment around that. What is one major thing you need to keep in mind that slice creates the shallow copy of the original array. What does it mean uh, that uh, shallow, co shallow copy means? Here I say that, hey, capital zero is equal to, which is Delhi right now, and I'm making it as new Delhi. All right, so if you see the capital array, it has been changed. Uh, the first item has been changed from Delhi to New Delhi. However, it would not impact anything in the original array. In the city array, you would still find uh, the value of uh, Delhi as Delhi. So it creates a shallow copy. But what if we have an object here, and this is very important. Keep in mind that if you have an object array, then what it does that it keeps the reference of that object. It means when you change in the uh, target uh, array, it will change uh, the object value in the source array. To understand that, uh, let's say that I have an object called dog right here, and then dog name is name foo, and then is is nine. Uh, then have I have another uh, array cat and let's say that cat name is ku and cat is is six and cat has color as well and cat is 
of color white all right and here what i'm going to do i'm going to modify this as an animal array and this array now contains dog and cat and let's say it contains one more uh, object here and that object is name and that is let us say human and i'll put a uh, name of my name here dj all right so now i have an uh, an animal array which has dog cat and one anonymous object here uh, of course human is an animal so dj can go inside animal array now here uh, we extract uh, let's say here we say that uh, good animal and then we say that animal dot slice and i'll start with zero i want these two items dog and cat to be part of that which means i need to pass two here and console dot log good animal and let's see what is the output here here you're getting a dog and cat printed all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to say that hey good animal and the first item is zero it is dog and let's change the name of the dog from foo to foo nine all right and uh, and before that let's print uh, original array here as well so here you have animal and dog animal and good animal and you see that you are getting uh, printed first uh, the first array you are getting printed here name uh, dog and cat and then the second array has the original array or original uh, animal array now what i'm going to do i'm changing good animals means the dog name to foo nine and then if we print this value here let me comment the animal as of now so you see that uh, now the both places in the good animal you have that name uh, changed to a uh, full nine right here all right and that is expected output we are getting now here what i'm going to do i'm going to print animal as well so if i print animal you see that for animal also the name of dog has been changed uh, what message i'm trying to give you here is that even if it a slice method creates a shallow copy uh, if you have an object array it means it is going to have the reference in the target array and if you change anything in the target array uh, the original array would also get impacted which you see here in the output it's all about slice method and it is very useful uh, while working with an array i hope you find this uh, video useful thank you for watching please uh, subscribe to the channel and my name is dhananjay kumar Thank you so much.